Good morning guys, it's your girl Chloe yes, me back in the cut with another video and in today's video Y'all are about to be following me around. I don't know. I'm gonna try to make this day interesting I'm gonna try to make it you know full of fun But right now I need to make up my bed go make some coffee and then brush my teeth get myself Presentable I was drinking soup last night So I gotta take that soup downstairs, but I need to go ahead and make up my bed I listen to rain sounds at nighttime if you guys did not know it helps me go to sleep, like, I cannot listen to anything else. I don't want to listen to no voices. I don't want to listen to no nothing but some rain sounds, some thunder. So, yeah. Actually, let me stop acting like it's oh so bad to get up because it's really not. I'm actually really blessed to be able to get up in the morning. So, let me go ahead and thank you, Jesus, right now. Thank you so much for waking me up this morning, Lord Jesus. I am so appreciative. Um, you did not have to do that, but you did, and you are so merciful, and I am so grateful, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much for waking all of my family up this morning. I am so grateful, Lord. I repent of the, sin I repent of the sins that I know that I did, and I repent of the sins that I do not know that I did. Once again, thank you so much for waking me up, and thank you so much for waking my blood squad up. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Keep blessing them and loving them and prospering them in the mighty name of Jesus I pray amen but yeah girl so I just woke up about to go ahead and um see this is my soup cat from last time I love soup I love medium soup can we really yummy soup <laughs> oh I found my hairbrush <gasps> why is all this stuff down here oh my gosh is this a kid's sock whose sock is this uh kids I'm gonna leave that hairbrush down there I don't want that hairbrush <laughs> I got tape on my bed. What the heck is going on? Ah, I better snatch my hair. Man, them hair balls are cracking, boy. You better stop it, boy. If you believe what you could like throw a punch at somebody and then it was like crack, crack. All right, welcome to my coffee station. I'm about to go ahead and make some fresh coffee, meaning that I need to go ahead and take all this old coffee from yesterday from my brothers and stuff. Cause I make different coffee than them, that's why I have to get up earlier and make different coffee because my mom has to make their coffee. So let's go ahead and get started. Get a little filter in there. The coffee that I drink is the Starbucks buttery and smooth caramel flavor coffee. I love this. It's so good. Actually, I gotta go to the bathroom. Hold up, y'all. All right, so I took my tinkle. <laughs> but I'm about to go ahead and pour out this old coffee and clean it out. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and wait on that coffee while I go brush my stinking little mouth. Brush my boo brush my do do. Brush my boo brush my do do. Okay, so I use two different toothpaste, one for my teeth and one for like my whole entire mouth. But this is specifically for my teeth. This is the Aqua Fresh um, toothpaste that I get at like Target and Walmart. And this is the Arm & Hammer Advanced Clean Whitening Toothpaste because it really does whiten your teeth and I like it. There it goes, now it's focusing. But this is the whitening toothpaste, I really like it. And then this is my second time using this toothbrush. I just bought it the other day. And I used it for the first time yesterday and I really like it. So, my, oh, I also use mouthwash and then I floss last night. But this is the mouthwash that I'm currently using. Okay, so I would wash my face and put a mask on right now, but I need to go figure out how much time I have left. So, yeah. Okay, so I never end up drinking all the coffee that's in the coffee pot, but I always have to pour it all out because my mom makes separate coffee for the boys. Um, and I don't even drink coffee every single day anymore, but today is one of those days where I'm gonna need my coffee. I can't believe I have to pour all this coffee into my cup, but I have to because I made a lot. Face wash and masking time, you guys. I'm trying to get it out the way because I have some stuff to do. So I'm about to go ahead and wash my face and mask it. I'm about to wash my face with this Biore charcoal uh, face wash. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this detox, ma detox mask from Victoria's Secret Pink 
on my face because this is literally my favorite mask right now. Let me make it focus. All right, so here it is right here. I love this mask. It's absolutely amazing. It gets really soapy and it also smells great. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I decided that I actually do want to scrub my face today, but not with my face brush. I'm just going to scrub it with my St. Ives um, scrub. And the reason why I'm not going to scrub it with my face uh, brush today is because I have my camera out. And when I scrub my face with my face brush, soap flies everywhere and water, so I don't want nothing happening. So I'm just gonna clean my face up real quick. Thank you, Jesus, for waking me up this morning. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Alright, so my mask is on and I'm probably gonna keep it on for like a while, a while, probably like maybe an hour. Y'all may be like, girl, that's way too much because this is only supposed to go on for 10 minutes, but I always keep it on for like an hour, literally. One time I kept it on for a little bit over an hour and it just makes my face look way better when I keep it on for longer. Like literally, I'm telling you guys, it'll have my face glowing, looking smooth. It also helps with my scars and my pimples and stuff like that. So, I'm about to keep this on for a while and I'm gonna talk to y'all later. All right, you guys, so I'm actually currently currently doing my Bible study on my 30-minute break, but I just got done, like, doing Bible study with you guys, and my microphone wasn't on, so I only have a nine-minute break now. And basically, when you open up uh, Timothy, it's basically speaking about... I guess I can just say it. But the Holy Spirit tells us clearly that in the last times, and this is 1 Timothy 4, that in the last times, so in these end days, these last days before the Lord comes back, some in the church, so people in the church will turn away from Jesus because it says they will turn away from Christ and become eager followers of teachings with devil inspired ideas. So there are going to be people, which is already happening. So I know that these are the last days and that he's coming back soon because what he's saying, everything that he's saying that'll happen before he comes back is happening. So um, basically it's saying that people in the church will turn away, will turn away from Christ and they will start following these teachings of devil inspired ideas and the teachers will tell lies with straight faces and do it so often that their consciences won't even bother them they will say that it is wrong to be married and wrong to eat meat even though god gave these things to well-taught christians to enjoy and be thankful for for everything god made is good and we may eat it gladly if we are thankful for it and if we ask God to bless it for it is made good by the word of God in prayer so that doesn't mean that you are wrong if you don't eat meat it just means that if you are telling people or if you are believing that it is wrong to eat meat that is wrong but it doesn't mean that you're wrong if you don't eat meat you have that choice whether you want to eat meat or whether you don't want to eat meat but if you're thinking that it is wrong to eat meat or if you are telling people that it is wrong to eat meat that is wrong also if you're telling people that it is um wrong to be married that's wrong if you explain this to the others you will be doing your duty as a worthy pastor who is fed by faith and by the true teaching you have followed don't waste your time arguing over foolish ideas and silly myths and legends spend your time and energy in the exercise of keeping spiritually fit so it also says right here, bodily exercise is all right. So you can exercise your body, that's all right. But what's more important is exercising um, spiritually. So you wanna keep yourself spiritually fit. So you have to exercise spiritually. Um, spend your time and energy in the exercise of keeping spiritually fit. But exercise, but spiritual exercise is more important then the bodily exercise and spiritual exercise is tonic for all you do. So I have the definition right here on my phone what tonic means. Giving a feeling of well-being. So 
spiritual exercise is tonic. It gives you a feeling of well-being. Um, it is very important to exercise yourself spiritually. So exercise yourself spiritually and practice being a better Christian because that will help you not only now in this life, but in your next life too. So your life with Jesus, when he comes back and he takes um, everybody that has obeyed him, um, he will take those people and we are going to have a much better life. And that is the next life that he is speaking about. This is the truth and everyone should accept it. We work hard and suffer much in order that people will believe it. For our hope is in the living God who died for all and particularly for those who have accepted his salvation. Teach these things and make sure everyone learns them well. Don't let anyone think little of you because you are young. Ain't that the truth? Okay, so like I know people um, don't really want to listen to me because I'm very young. Um, and I'm still a teenager, but like the Bible says right here, teach these things and make sure you guys are learning them well. So that's why I'm explaining it to you guys, but don't let anyone think little of you because you are young. Be their ideal. Let them follow the way you teach and live. Be a pattern for them in your love, your faith, and your clean thoughts. So I'm not perfect, but when you have, when you're putting out the word of God, when you are preaching the word of God, you have to be very careful with what you do. Everybody does, but when you have when you're having people follow you, you have to be even more careful because these people are going to want to follow you in your love, like by the way that you love your faith and your clean thoughts. So they're going to want to follow you and do the things that you are doing. So I have to make sure that I am doing well by the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep a close watch on all you do and think. Stay true to what is right, and God will bless you and use you to help others others that is so powerful you guys i really 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 did need that um i was reading that with you guys i was being informed as you guys are being informed as well and that really did help me actually i forgot to highlight it that really did help me because today i'm actually having a hard day and i'm glad that i went in here and read that because i have to realize that the responsibility that i have on myself it's not just about me it's about everybody that's listening to me and it also lets me know that i need to be on my a game with my faith with my clean thoughts with my um love i'm gonna go ahead and clean my body up with some bar soap some typical regular dial bar soap i'm about to clean it up also with this body wash that i have here from palmer's i'm gonna go ahead and use my bag brush with my acne dote body scrub i'm also gonna exfoliate my body with this tree hut scrub um wash my vaginal area with this dove baby wash and i'm gonna call it a day all right you guys so it is the very next day i did not end up finishing off the video because i had another video to film and by the time i got done doing that i immediately start editing so i had no time to go ahead and finish off this video but right now i am in target looking for some laundry products because i am literally almost out so i have to go ahead and re-up on my stuff and it looks like they have some new stuff. Ooh, Gain has a new fabric softener. But I'm really in love with the Snuggle kind. And I'm very, very, very loyal to the Snuggle game. So I'm about to go ahead and get my Snuggle baby. I always got to use my Snuggle. Snuggle, if you want your kid, if you want your, not your kids. Ooh, if you want your clothes to smell good, go ahead and grab some Snuggle. Alright, so the fabric softener is done. Now I need to go ahead and grab some detergent. So I always use pods. And the Gain ones are actually really expensive. So I'm just about to go ahead and grab some Tide Pods. Let me see. I'm gonna grab these Tide Pods right here and this Spring Meadow. Yeah, this is the Spring Meadow Tide Pods. I really like the Tide Pack Pods because you can just throw them in there and be done. And I think that's actually all I need because I already have the beads at home. I get a good deal at this one like discount store. Y'all know Dub is the real OG. If your body stain, come get you some Dub. Dub is the bomb. And if you're really sensitive, get the sensitive skin one because this one is like basically non-scented. It doesn't say that it's non-scented, but it literally has no scent to it. Yeah, ain't no scent to that. My favorites are the cucumber one and the regular one. They are amazing. Also, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's my real, real, real favorite one? Here it is. This one smells the best. But y'all know your girl is so straight on hygiene products. I need to stop buying hygiene products. I don't need no dang hygiene products, so yes. Man, I am not really feeling my hair today. It's not really fully dried and I didn't even put enough product in it. So I'm not really feeling my hair right now. But what is up, you guys? I literally have, I'm, I'm having like the hardest time trying to end off this video. I don't know what's going on. Like every single time I go to end off the video, I have to film a different video and I always forget to end off this video. And I don't really know how to end it off because I'm not really sure what I'm going to title it. But um, I just put my hair up in a ponytail and I took it out. That's why my hair looks really crazy because it was wet and I put it up in a ponytail. And now it's looking, I don't know, worse than it did before. If you guys are wondering, where I got these lashes from these are from my website down in the description below I absolutely love these lashes these are called love lashes they're by me and I love them because 
with all of my lashes on my website you can literally rewear them rewear them for like two weeks straight and some of them like if you treat them good if you take care of them you can go even longer than that like i know i make my lashes last for so 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 long because i really do take care of my lashes when you get done taking off your lashes you can just take off the little access glue and keep reusing them as long as you ain't snatching them off leaving them in wrong places they will literally last for forever but anyway right now i'm actually in my pajamas i'm all cozy and junk i'm not really trying to um get all cute or nothing like that i have like a long day at school i had a long day at school thank you lord that i finished all my homework and my exams and stuff like that because i ain't gotta do that no more but i thought i would go ahead and end off this video with a clothing haul because it's pretty interesting and i'm not gonna like make a separate video about this because i'm sure don't nobody want to see that so i'm just gonna go ahead and enter it into this video so basically, let's get started. The first outfit that I have, I actually already wore, and I wore this at my nephew's football game. My mom and I had the same exact outfit. It is this sweat outfit right here from Target. It comes with a little sweatpants or whatever. It's actually dirty, but I just folded it up so that I can show y'all. I don't know. My clothing always smells good after I get done wearing it because it has so much perfume on it, and I'm not a stinky person, so there's no body odor on my clothing. But... These are the bottoms right here. They are super cute. I absolutely love them. They're super comfortable and they kept me really warm in my nephew's football game because it was pretty chilly. My mom and I actually got like a lot of compliments on this outfit or whatever. I love it. It comes with a little hood or whatever. And um, it's just so cute. I like to have my stuff really baggy. That's why it's like really big. I got this in a size... Oh, I actually got it in a size small. I thought I got it in a medium. So I got it in a size small. My size at Target is like an extra small but I always go small because I like my stuff to be like really baggy kind of so this is absolutely adorable I love it I love it I love it I love how neon this outfit is it's so cute on my skin and the top and bottoms were both $22 so it was $44 but if you add up the little tax or whatever it's probably like $45 $46 which honestly for like a jogging suit that's really not bad Target really does have good deals I mean they are a little bit pricey like Target clothes are not cheap but I don't think that's that bad for like a whole sweat outfit so yeah that's cute and then yesterday i went ahead and picked up this money ball outfit i also went ahead and bought my mom one as well it's just gray but i'm about to have to shrink them in the wa in the dryer because they're just way too long and i'm super short like if you know me you know i'm super short like i'm about to show y'all like this is the pants like they come way past my ankle hold on i don't know how i showed this like i put them like right here and they come like way past my ankle and i really do not like that because when your pants are way too big and they drag it on the floor, they start to look real raggedy and dusty at the bottom of your pants. So I'm not about to be doing that. I'm about to go ahead and shrink these so I can fit them good. And I think this is like the smallest size they have. I didn't see no extra smalls, so I just went ahead and got a small. So yeah, I went ahead and picked this up. These are the pants, and this is the top right here. The bottoms were $32, and I think the top was $32 as well. No, the top was $38. Good lord. I get sweatsuits like this because I like to stay warm. And it's like an outfit that you can just throw on. You know what I'm saying? Like you can just throw the outfit on real quick. So I do like stuff like this. And it does seem like it would be like a super warm outfit. So yeah, I just got the top and the bottoms. I don't know if I'm like the biggest fan of the color. I kind of wanted the gray one way more. I got my brother a gray one. And I got my other brother like an all black on black one. But I don't know. I really did want the black and white one and the gray and black one. And then I also went ahead and picked up this jean outfit. I'm not really sure where I'm going to wear this outfit at. But it's so cute it's a little bit long as well so i gotta figure out some shoes that i'm about to wear with this thing because i feel like if i shrink this thing it's about to be shrunk and this was 35 dollars. what the heck i'm so frugal i don't know this was a 35 honestly it's not that bad because the whole outfit is 35 dollars. so you don't have to buy a top and a bottom you have a whole outfit in one but this is what it looks like y'all it's super cute it zips all the way up it cinches kind of at the waistline and it's really cute. It's got like a little collar or whatever. And oh my gosh, I really do like it. I'm gonna have to show you guys in one of my videos when I wear it or whatever. I'm just not sure which pants I'm gonna, I mean, which shoes I'm gonna wear with it because it is kind of long. But I'm gonna work with it. It's not too, too long to the point where I cannot wear it at all. But it's pretty long. I think I might wear these shoes with that outfit because these are pretty high off the floor. These are nice. My mom and I have matching shoes. She got them for me at Macy's. I was gonna buy them, but she insisted on getting them for me. So. Yeah, I really do like these shoes. They're so cute. I only wore them once and I wore them in the back to school period kit shopping video. But yeah, this outfit is like really cute. I really do like it. And then this is the last bag. Um, And in this bag, I have a shirt and like some jeans I'm about to show y'all. But this shirt is kind of like a long john material type thing. It's like a long john type shirt and it's super cute. It looks like it's cropped. Well, I think it is cropped for like people that want to wear it as a crop top. But um, my size, if I wanted to make it cropped, 
would be an extra small but I got it in a size small because I did not want it to be cropped it is $12 or whatever and I always wear tank tops under my stuff like this first of all you should wear a tank top under it anyway because it's see-through because it's such like a sheer white so I'm gonna be wearing a tank top under it I'm not really like the crop top type girl so I'm not gonna be wearing this cropped at all there will be a tank top under my stuff because I don't know I'm just a cover-up type person and I just love it it's really cute I always wanted a shirt like this. I like it that it's like cut off right there because it's not like a full like long john type looking shirt or whatever. And it's super cute when I, when I tried it on in the store it was like adorable. So that's cute. And then last but not least, <clears throat> well I actually got some stuff I could show y'all from Victoria's Secret that I got. Just like some body sprays and stuff because I'm not about to show y'all my underclothing. But clothing wise the last thing that I went ahead and picked up are these jeans right here. I think my mom got the same ones as well. These are the mom jeans, the high rise mom jeans and these were $22 and these are actually super cute I just like them because they're really classy they're not tight on me all right now I'm about to go ahead and show you guys like my little perfumes or whatever that I got from Victoria's Secret and I don't think like it's too too weird to show like your bra and underwear on camera I don't think it's that that deep but just today I don't really want to like I've showed my underwear and my new bras and stuff on camera before on my Black Friday haul so I guess it's not really that deep but I just don't think I want to do that today so the first thing that I went ahead and picked up from Victoria's Secret is this beach flower body spray and lotion I loved this body spray and this lotion it was my holy grail type body spray and lotion and I haven't been able to find it but they came out with it a little bit different like the lotion is totally different y'all know like the pump lotions that they had and it would say big in bold letters it would say pink on it and then whatever smell or scent it was it would say that right there and then the body spray was like a way bigger bottle than this well that's not how they do with them no more this is how they do it this is way more liquidy and this is not as strong but that's okay I still love the scent so I had to go ahead and pick it up and it is in the scent beach flower so this here is what the body spray looks like I think it's really pretty with like the little polka dots and the purple color or whatever it smells amazing and then here's the lotion the lotion is even more cute it's just not as thick as it was back in the day but it's super cute and it smells great <laughs> All right, so I had to go find all the body sprays that I went ahead and bought. I just bought four more, so I went ahead and picked up this old, this Amber Romance one because Amber Romance is one of my favorite body sprays. It smells amazing. Like, I literally, this is my second bottle. I haven't finished the other one, but I just want to go ahead and pick up another one because it is my favorite at the moment. Amber Romance is what's up. I also went ahead and picked up this Coconut Craze because it was only $4.99. Um, these were three for $25, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the other two that I went ahead and picked up. But this is in the smell Coconut Craze. It's super cute. I really like it. I don't know if it's gonna focus or not but it's in the scent coconut craze i love it it smells very coconutty yeah it reminds me of one of their old smells um it's like a i forgot it's in like an orange packaging it's like hawaiian it's tropic island i believe and the other two that i was gonna go ahead and show you guys that were like three for 25 or whatever um and two for 20 this is the bear vanilla i absolutely love it i haven't even got through my other one at all but i love bear vanilla it smells so good i get so many compliments when i wear this one and also the amber romance one this smells so good it's like one of the best um vanilla smells ever along with um vanilla lace and in the Bath and Body Works version, I would say one vanilla sugar. And last but not least, I went ahead and picked up this Pure Seduction um, body spray. You know, it's like a go-to when you don't really have anything else to wear. Um, Pure Seduction is something that I always go to. They changed it. It used to be red and now it's pink. I think I might have one of the red ones that they used to have. It's around here somewhere, but I was just spraying it the other day. That's how I know it's around here somewhere. But I have like a red Pure Seduction one. And we all know that Pure Seduction used to be red and now it's pink, which it's a little different. Like I'm so used to the red liquid. So that is basically everything that I wanted to go ahead and show you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me around my day, day in the life. I'm not really sure what I'm going to name it. But I think it was a pretty interesting video. I had a lot of fun editing it because I was just cracking up the whole entire time. I crack myself up sometimes. But I love every single one of you guys. I'm waiting for something to do. I'm waiting for something to load on my computer right now but i love every single one of you guys god bless every single one of y'all i really do love you guys i really do hope that you enjoyed this video go ahead and um check out my website down below and also go ahead and check out my last video my paw patrol kids video um just show some support to it if you guys go ahead and screenshot you guys watching it i will go ahead and hit you guys back up and just send me a picture on snapchat and i'll hit you back up if you send me a screenshot of you guys watching the paw patrol video that is like a kids video it is meant for the kids but just to show some support on it and let me know that you guys are supporting me and like everything that i do go ahead and screenshot it and i will text you back on snapchat god bless you love you and peace out peace out peace to the out to the out to the peace Woo.